Right, so yesterday we ended up having kind of like an unscheduled rally party with BFP family. Uh, we just found a bunch of targets together at the same time, which is quite uncommon because the kingdom we've been in has been dead for about the last few days because all the big guilds migrated out when we killed everything. So we ended up zeroing three targets and burning another one. Here's one of the players who rallied. He's uh, about 1.3 billion might. I believe he's in monster gear. I haven't checked the gear at this point. And unlike most of the other big players we, uh, we zero, this guy has a good composition. In fact, he has what I would call a monster chip composition. So over 3 million of each T4 and uh, a lot of T2, not much T3. So this isn't like an easy target. This guy has a monster composition. But luckily for us, this guy is in a cavalry formation, which completely invalidates that amazing troop composition he has. I'm gonna scout now and show it to you guys. But yeah, if I haven't already made it clear in my previous videos, if you're in a cavalry formation, doesn't matter if it's cavalry phalanx or cavalry wedge, that puts you at a massive disadvantage because range rallies will do more damage against cavalry formations than any other counter in the game. We came in and started our rally a bit later, so all the big guys, I mean from the Titan Guilds, have started range. We started infantry, assuming that they'll take out the front line first. So How Love Shan and LQ are gonna march first because they have the max range stats. How Love Shan hits him and the drop on the first hit is about 104 million might, which is exactly what I mean about cavalry formations being terrible. LQ is gonna hit him next, and drops him about 80 to 90 million, and then SSM is gonna march right after. If this guy was in any other formation, so an infantry or a range formation, then it would be much harder to zero him. Our counters wouldn't do as much damage, and although we would get there in the end, it would have meant more losses for us. So SSM are gonna hit him now, and they don't drop him much at all, because his, his cavalry is already gone, and his range is just hitting infantry now. So at this point, Brat Brat releases the timer, and we start marching, a bit slow at first, but we do end up carpeting. And this should be a really good hit because he has no cavalry left. There's only two troop types. Even though this guy has no cavalry left, because of how high his T4 count is, he's still gonna be able to do a time damage to our rally and we might not walk back. But luckily, Brap does burn him and walks back with Siege. Unfortunately, if you look at the report, he's in cavalry wedge, which means that our infantry rally hit into his infantry instead of fitting his range. So we don't get nearly as good a hit as we would have had. Of course, because Cavalry Wedge is a slightly better formation than Cavalry Phalanx. Guys, it's only slightly better, so don't take that as an excuse to start using it. Because it is slightly better, if he was in Cavalry Phalanx, those first range hits would have done even more damage. It might have even burned him. As you can see, L58 carpeted right after us to get the second burn. And then ME walk afterwards. Xing Yu is sending range here, which is a bit weird. Uh, probably he was supposed to uh, be in the first round of rallies. I guess he's set late. Uh, normally, if this was cavalry phalanx, him sending range would be bad for him because he'd be hitting into infantry in range. But now this guy only has range left, so it's okay. People are already sending solo marches and burning this guy, but now Zabuza is walking in from the left with an infantry rally about to finish him off. And that's exactly what happens. Zabuza gets the leader. So just to recap, this guy had a pretty good composition. In fact, it was a very good composition, but his downfall was that he was in a cavalry formation. Maybe it was deliberate, maybe it was just accidental. But anyway, if he was in infantry or even range, uh, I'm not sure these guys would have even tried it, given how many rallies that he would have taken to break. I'm gonna go with the detailed report of that hit now in just a sec. As you can see, we hit into infantry and range, which is why we were able to walk back but unfortunately, because it was infantry against infantry, we didn't do that much damage, so it was kind of disappointing. We would have got so many more kills if he had been in a phalanx. But now we're gonna move on to the next target. This guy is also 1.3 billion might and has a pretty good composition, so I can't explain how he burns so easily. He, he looks kind of like an infantry reinforcement trap, but his front line is huge. He doesn't need reinforcements at all. So this guy is in range formation. Turns out to be range wedge. We set leaderless infantry, LQ set range with the leader because that will do a lot of damage considering that he's in range wedge and he's an infantry reinforcement trap. So, well, uh, infantry reinforcement trap like composition. So range will do a lot of damage here. So we walk first. As you can see, when I click on this guy's profile, he's in gathering gear and he only has 47 million kills. So you can tell there's a farmer right there. Our rally does decent amount of damage considering the composition. 
that's nothing compared to LQ's rally next. Our leaderless int rally has already killed about 1.4 million T2, but with this, with this much T4, you'd expect this guy to have a much better defense against rallies. LQ is marching now. His range rally is actually gonna burn this guy on the second hit, and LQ walks back with Siege. When people ask me what the best formation to defend him, I always tell them range wedge, because range wedge, if you've ever tried to rally a player with a good composition in range wedge before, it's really hard to zero. They don't lose much on counter rallies normally, so I have no explanation for what's happening right now. This guy should take a lot of rallies to burn, but he's just burned on the first hit with his leader. Of course, as soon as he's burned, Nash starts a range rally with his leader, and LQ sets again. Now off camera, EW did hit him with what I believe was a leaderless int rally. Uh, that dropped him uh, another about a million troops. So on a scout after those rallies, I don't know if this was before or after EW's leaderless rally, but you can see that his troop comp has taken a huge beating. He does not have enough T2 anymore to be able to effectively eat rallies, so the next two hits are going to be massive. Originally, we were kind of going to walk first, but then LQ launched and carpeted right in front of us. We're going to see this right now. We're like four seconds away from hitting, and then BSC launch, carpet, hit first, get the huge hit, and then we hit second. Our hit is still pretty nice got almost 100 million drop there uh, this guy shields right after guys what is it with people shielding right after they've either been zeroed or hit really badly because i mean like if they'd logged on a minute earlier they would have been fine but no this guy's luck sucks so in this rally party there were two other players that we zeroed i am gonna uh, include the uh the first target we zeroed in the rally party now at the end of the video and i'll save the other zero we got for another video because I think that that one's a pretty special video and I want it to kind of have its own video with its own explanations of what happened. So we're rallying this guildless guy with no anti-scout, Victor. There were like about five rallies on this guy. His composition, you'll see it when we hit him because we hit first. His composition is almost an infantry reinforcement trap because he hardly has any T2 infantry. But yeah, just a couple million uh, T4 and then just mainly t2 cavalry in range so everyone's rally was range no one kind of wanted to walk first into that infantry front line but then another guild does stop marching so we march after them but then they cancel and that's really bad for us because we're going to hit that infantry but somehow we still managed to burn him uh, and then everyone else just kind of piles in after us to get the kills our hit isn't great because we hit infantry sorry we hit range into infantry but it's still a burn, it's still a pretty decent hit, and I'm quite surprised he did burn, considering we got countered pretty badly. Before I finish this video, I just want to address one last thing. Some people complain that at the end of my videos, to get to the 10 minute mark, I do leave a slightly longer than normal black screen. Well, the reason for that is, if you guys didn't know how the YouTube algorithm works, videos over 10 minutes, not only can you put more ads on them, but they're also more likely to show up in people's recommended. So YouTube want, obviously YouTube obviously want to get more money, so they recommend videos over 10 minutes more. In fact, even to the point where videos under 10 minutes will be suppressed. So yeah, if I don't have enough time to edit another video and put it in there, I will put a, an end screen for a couple of minutes just to take the video over the 10 minute mark. I don't really see a problem with it. I don't really see why it offends people. <clears throat> but that's, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up in case people didn't understand why. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. At the time of making this video, we have already migrated to a new kingdom. And this is a very exciting migration. You guys will see why very soon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.